Hi there, boys and girls. Ready for story time with Mr. Riddle? Today we're going to read Yertle the Turtle by Dr. Seuss. There's actually several other stories in this book, but today we're just going to read Yertle the Turtle. Lots of introductory, introductory pages. On a faraway island of Salamasan, Yertle the Turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond. It was clean, it was neat, the water was warm, and there was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need, and they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were, until Yertle the turtle King of them all decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king! I'd be ruler of all I can see. He doesn't look very happy, does he? So Yertle, the Turtle King, lifted his hand, and Yertle, the Turtle King, gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone, and using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back and he piled them all up in a nine-turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view. He could see almost a mile. All mine, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I am king of a cow, and I am king of a mule. I am king of a house, and what's more beyond that, I am king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle. Oh, marvelous me, for I am ruler of all that I see. And all through that morning, he sat there up high, saying over and over, Oh, great king am I! Until, long about noon, he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king. And he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac, just a part of his throne. And this plain little turtle looked up and said, Beg your pardon, King Turtle, King Yertle. I have pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long was, must we stand here? Your Majesty, please. He's all the way at the bottom and everybody's standing on top of him all morning long. <clears throat> Silence! The king of the turtles barked back. I am king, and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I am king of a cow, and I am king of a mule. I am king of a house and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about two hundred. He wants more turtles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed. And the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came. They obeyed from all of, over the pond. They came swimming by dozens, whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins. All of them stepped on the head of poor Mac, and one after another they climbed up the stack. more 
short turtles. Then, Yertle the turtle was perched up so high, he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Yertle, I am king of the trees, I am king of the birds, I am king of the bees. I am king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am ruler of all that I can see. Being way up high lets you see a long ways. <clears throat> then again, from below, in the great heavy stack, came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your Majesty, please, I don't like to complain, but down here below, we are feeling great pain. I know, up on top, you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom, we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We are, we are starving groaned Mac. <clears throat> you hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yertle. You've no right to talk to me talk to a world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds, over land, over sea. There's nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. being quite rude, not polite at all. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that? snorted Yertle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call even more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. Need about 5,607. <clears throat> but as Yertle, the turtle king, lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle Below in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac decided he had taken enough, and he had. And that plain little lad got a little bit mad, and that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped, and his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yertle, the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of a house and a cow and a mule, well, that was the end of the turtle king's rule. For Yertle, the king of all Salamisand, fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. And today, the great Yertle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud. That is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free, as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. The end. Remember how I said there's other stories in this book? There's also a story called Gertrude McFuzz and The Big Brag. We'll read those tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.